into the ring we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Go TV Boxing Night 23, Rumble in the City, and it's time for a sixth fight of the night. It's a 10 round national weather weight title defense bow in the blue corner. The challenger, Isaac Eistar Cody. Eistar, the fans roar for the 26 year old. Isaac Eistar Chukudi. And uh, you know you know that he's uh, very very famous uh, trunks uh, that looks like the warrior from obviously one of the African tribes that he is from. He's such an exciting boxer. One of the rising stars of Nigerian boxing, challenging for the national title against Olowu, another good boxer in the ring now. Isaac Aista. Yeah, the red corner, the champion. Taiwo, gentle boy, oh, oh, oh. And there you have it, the noise in the arena is almost deafening, but as much as Olowu is a very, very exciting boxer, I must say, we're in for the fight right here at the Mother Day of Oya Thomas Hall of the Testing Balogun Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. He is a very, very exciting boxer, very explosive as well. But I start packs a whole lot of uh, skills in him. And I do not, I do not even know where this fight can go. It is going to be a blockbuster, and uh, hence the reason why it is the core main event of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, he weighed in at 66.4 kilograms. He has had three fights. One, two, lost one. One by knockout. The challenger, Isaac Eistar. Chukudi! In the red corner, weighed in at 66.7 kilograms. He has had nine fights, won eight, lost one, six by knockout. Taiwo, gentle boy! Oh, Our judges are Wahab Martins, Paula Jacobs. Shegu Adesoya, our referee is Latif Muiz, Glove Master Oladipo Babalola, Ring Marshal Joel Assisi, Time Keepers Titi Lokbe Okufule, Prince Adiolofi, Ring Doctor Dr. Tajudin Sule, Dr. Chike Ilukwe, Treasurer Mr. Kaude Gomez, Fight Supervisor Dr. Rafiu Oladipo, President. NBB of C coordinator Remy Apoderi, secretary NBB of C.
doesn't want to come off his back. But then in the meantime, the crowd are going absolutely bonkers as the various uh, supporters of the boxers, Aista, the challenger, Isaac Aista Chukuni, and of course the champion himself, uh, Taiwo with the gentle boy, Olo. In April, these two boxers they met in April, and of course, it was a controversial victory, split decision victory for Olowu. We all saw that fight and thought that Chuku did deserve um, a victory, you know, because uh, the fight was so interesting. Both boxers they gave everything, a little one that they are meeting for the national title. So, Olowu got one over Isaac Chuku in April 2021. This is a rematch. Yeah, absolutely. This time for the national title for the challenge. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 if I say stop boxing, stop. Break. Stop first step back, okay? No he is very bad. No he is not bad, okay? Check for the first round. Prepare for this one as we got uh, in a four months in between for both boxes to go back to their camps get themselves ready for this one. At that time, it was a challenge. This time around, it's a title fight. So it is a totally different ball game. And uh, Taiwo has to bring up his A game if he's going to subdue this man, who we know is a very good boxer in high stuff. Round one, this is a war. Absolutely. You know, high stuff feels that he was rough the last time. Olohu would want to justify himself in this one. That's high stuff. Both of them coming for it. I start starting better off the floor, off the block. Here he comes to the right. Olohu has got the reach. And you would expect him to use a lot more of the jabs. You see the um, referee there telling them avoid the head contact. And no using of their elbow. The referee getting busy as Elias could left or from I start. There is something about High Star. He has a very fantastic way in his boxing, but it does look like Olohu has understood High Star now. When he first faced High Star, you can see Olohu, you know, beginning to get the punches in right now. I think he has now understood High Star. He knows how quick a boxer High Star can be. Good job from High Star, Isaac Chaburi. They know themselves in and out. Absolutely, they've taken time. I'm pretty sure they've called for that take of that last bout. And Olohu trying to do what he should do with the, uh, as, as the man with the longer reach, which is to keep him at bay. This is a second installment of for this, for both boxers. Olohu going for a good one too. Get it right, get it right. Ralph, I think this guy should take it easy. I think there's a, a serious... Uh, War. Animosity. Yeah, animosity between the two of them. They want to take each other out. I can see a lot, both of them slipping after they go for the punches and missing the punches. They need to calm down and come for each other. Even Aista is looking, losing his normal, cool nature. You know? Good one there from Aista. Hello, the man with a longer reach. Missing there. see what Aista is trying to do now. I think he's beginning to get his own strategy back in play. He's going for counter punching. Waits for Olohu to launch. Olohu launches, misses. He tries to quickly, you know, counter. Good one from both boxes. Isaac going for the jabs. And that's it again. Good counter punching coming from Olohu as well. It's obvious from this way this fight is, is going right now that Olohu never expected a lot from Aista at the beginning. Aista scoring a big one there. Big 
miss there by Eistar, who was trying to connect. Good job there coming from Eistar. Just because, and you can see the way he's, you, you notice the, the body language of Eistar, he's not joking at all. Uh, unlike the last time where he was doing the head movement and everything, he ain't oh, joking. Show button, no know. show button this time around. It's a national title fight at stake. The champion is Olowu. The challenger is this man on your screen, Isaac Eistar. And I'm tempted to give that first round to this man. Uh, I think it's a very, very even fight. If for anything, I think I'll give it to Olo. I think Olo will start a lot more jabs. Uh, That's why I'm liking it. <laughs> Even the commentators are divided. I'll clash it over this. <laughs> That's the kind of fight we're having here for the national title. National welterweight title. Defense of Olo against the challenger. I think I start slap on the face. To reset him. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's going to set his brain like that. Go there and get the job done. I start looks to be serious minded this time around. He's uh, coming back to what he loves to do best, which is to quite try and intimidate his opponent. He's come out of the uh, corner very quickly and he's gone to the neutral to just stand back. And the fight is on the way. Round two. It is a 10 round contest, which means it's a long way. I start being very aggressive in this one. Scoring a big right there. Oh, and Olohu getting him back with another right as well. Good combination coming from Olohu there. Double right on another one again. And he scores his own as well, using the jab very well. Olohu beginning to hit his longer reach. are missing as it goes on the inside. One to the... That's the counter punch in the game. Both of them trying to employ the same strategy. No one misses the jab. Well, but the both boxers are showing respect to each other now. Wherever this fight goes, I think it's Nigerian boxing. That is an always winner. Because these two guys have shown us that there is a star. But both of them are stars. I start missing. Hello. Missing also as well. missing. Oh, good oh. one from I start. That was good. I start trying to bring out the show button, which always gets your opponent very distracted. He's not been able to bring it on. Young boxers with a long career ahead of them. Olohu gets it in there with a fantastic left hand, right hook there. But I start showing that in as much as he can dish, he can also receive as well. Coming out aggressive once again, but not being able to score those points, and Olohu is picking him up. Look at those vibes, that left to right combination. And I start is a south war as well. This is the third side. That's a very risky thing to do. And he misses that up again. champion so you don't use your uh, arm to actually push your opponent away. And that's the bell there. Uh, Lou ended it with a, a good job. The fans are loving their boxing and loving their go to be boxing night. Everything about it. Both boxers giving a fantastic account of what they are capable of doing. I good job. Good chance for my star there. Even though not a lot of them connected, but at least uh, two connected.
so no dull moment at all here for these two boxers into the third round shadow 10 is a national right away the title defense They're coming from uh, the low, he tries to look for a good opportunity to set up the punch. But it's always difficult when you're fighting in South Park and he catches him with a hockey cut there coming from. Uh, he really scores another big one again there with his uh, left. Oh! And that was a sleep. That was a sleep there. And the referee calls him. The referee says. Uh, Understands that that was a sleep. And I love the way uh, the referee has handled this spot so far. Cautioning both of them, there was no need for you guys to go at each other. Yeah, it's very difficult to hear the break, uh, the sound of uh, the fans drowning both the bell and the referee's calls. Quite understandably, the fans are excited going to be boxing. Right, returning. Jabs coming from a... Oh, brilliant combination there. One to the body and one to the face. I stop bounces back again with a right jab. Oh, Olomu catches in there with another combination. And I stop stays, bring it on. Clinch coming from uh, the champion there. Did you see the look on the referee's face? It's like when you're scolding two kids and you give them that frown. I told you guys. He, he didn't need to say any word. At all. Your facial expression tells the story. The high star, he needs to move. Okay? It won't do him any good to be pinned to a corner. Yeah, because the, the, the advantage he had the last time I was that he was moving and you can see him getting caught now. That was a good one from a low I start. I start needs to move his upper body. That was the strength the last time. It was so difficult to, 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 to match. Oh, that's a big one again. I think the corner of Hulu have told him you have an advantage. It is your lead. Keep him at bay and you will probably win this battle. Does that I will still always be very cautious. I think we need to, I think we need to, the, the, the ringside of officials need to do something about the bell. They need to probably bring in a louder one because these fans there are making it more difficult for the boxers. I didn't even hear the bell. There's just cacophony of sounds here inside the indoor sports hall. That was the, uh, there was no need, I think uh, Olomu was not smart smiley there. It was something like a push. It uh, wasn't a sleep, it was actually a sleep. I start tripped on himself while trying to track back. And Olomu could see, it. all he needed to do was step back, go to the uh, neutral corner, and let the referee confirm whether it was a sleep or a knockdown, which of course he was a to seize the advantage. And yeah, he felt that, okay, I start is still standing up, okay, let me, let me go for it. I'm not sure, I'm sure you've seen it as well. There is a lot of uh, body language in this fight. I think body language is going to stay long. You see Einstein trying to intimidate Olo by coming out quickly, going to the neutral corner, squatting like a tiger that is about to bounce. And you saw the way Olo himself quickly went to the neutral corner as well on the other side and then going into the center of the ring to say, I'm here, go for it. Referee noticing that uh, Olu's uh, glove needs to be retired properly. That's done now. Put the battery to the center of the, the ring. Nice to get him one in. 
Lowe comes back with one two. Both boxers had obviously cautious this time around. But like the last time where they threw everything at it. They know each other's strengths now, so they, they know that any one of them can take the other out. Well, you know, the only thing that is that uh, Isaac this time around, um, uh, Lou has been able to pin him a couple of times to, you know, inside of the ring. Last time out, it wasn't so, it was difficult to pin him. Oh, look at that big one again coming from Olu. Scored the left and the right. Once again, you see Olomu taking him to the, to the corner again. He's really hurting it. And you can see that again. He is really, he is really showing stuff there. So he can finish him off. But then that glitch. You, you can see Eichstar's hands on the ropes there, keeping him right there. That he doesn't want that fight. He is tired in this one. But Olomu needs to be very cautious because Eichstar is not going to give him easily. Oh, another big one. He should finish it right now. He's missing the killer punches. And you, see, you can see that again. That's the hand on the rope again coming from my staff. He's literally knocking him there, trying to get his breath back. And I think referee has, the referee has seen that. Before. He has seen that. Okay. Oh, big two one. big ones again. Another clinch from uh, Isaac Eistar. Isaac is tiring out. Absolutely. Oh, another one again. Well, I wanted to end it with a knock. Oh, I start needs to get out of the corner for the round. He needs to get out of there, or else he's not going to have any chance in this fight. Okay. Another one again. Look at the way he's connected. He I needs to get out of that corner. I didn't want to guard it. Someone's to guard his off. They're going to... Oh, another one again. Although he's just scoring at Will at this point in time. And he keeps backing himself into that corner. This is his round. Oh, look at that again. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. He was the one who lost that round. And he was trying to prove a point by being uh, dramatic about it. I start actually lost his teeth. Uh, teeth the teeth gap there. That was a domineering performance in that round for Lou. Although we kept him in the corner and came them there. I start, uh, he needs to quit any kind of short button. He needs to really um, get some new way of approaching the next round. Yeah, you know you talked about the fact that he's moved at his off today. I think apart from the first round, uh, which uh, uh, we thought he could have got a draw. Yeah, uh, but then every other round so far. Every other round has got this time. That's the mark of the champion. If you fight, if you fight a boxer, it can be a good scare. And everybody thought you probably lost that fight. You need to come back and assert yourself. I think that's what the only scare right now for your You can see that punch there from the play, playback. Sending Heister to the corner. But Heister looks to be trying to get back his uh, group right now. Another punch going through the guy. Oh, no, no he's scoring again. Big left and right from a low wound. And I start tries to connect with him. Oh, he's using the reach so much. Oh, another one. He looks like every time I start tries to fight back, Olowu sends him back in there. Look at that again. Olowu really, really in control. He has noticed that he can do damage from distance. And he's making sure that that's the case right here. That's exactly what he's doing. Device that and it's going very well for him. Look at that going for the body, trying to open the upper body up. up. And you look at the conditioning of the low. Right? Oh, another big one there. A good counter punching from uh, Isaac. He's, I mean, although he's, he's looking like the ice that we saw in the last fight, you know, doing the shimmy, the footwork. It's pretty much like Ice is, da is dazzled. I know we're getting some warning there from the uh, referee saying that you should stop using your hands. And the thread from his uh, hand glove is off again. The, the tape in there needs they need to do that taping properly uh, because it keeps coming off because of. Uh, and all this stuff. Looks 
Jonas on the center of the ring. Neistat doesn't even know how to go on the inside because he needs to get on the inside if he wants to do anything about this bout. I think that's the only way he can get something out of this fight. Definitely he's been dominated from afar. Absolutely. His punches are not, cannot even reach a low. That's how bad it is. Look at that counter punch again coming from a low. Every time he tries to go on the inside. Isaac doing a good job in this round. Look how Lowe tried to try to bring him back. And Lowe is actually doing... Oh, look at that, Ralph. The shimmy while doing the work there. Putting Eistar off, and Eistar fights back as well. Another big one again coming from Olo. Eistar is taking a bit in here tonight. He is, absolutely. Olo is just landing the punches at will. Look at that again, and a double again. But he should be aware. One big one from Eistar. Absolutely. Someone's two guard is off again. Olo catches him again, puts him in that corner. That's exactly where he wants him. That's where Eistar can come, but Eistar is not taking advantage. Whenever the guard is up from below, he should look to come in on the inside. And his two guard is not on. He just allowed that to go. Why is his two guard getting off his mouth for the second round? It shows lack of composure. He's worried. Yeah, he's worried. He's, he's not thinking prop 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 so properly. Far. Even the look on his face says it all. He looks dazed compared to the eyes that we saw in April. I mean, look at look at the rings on his face. It's like he's looking to his corner to give him a solution to the fight. I think his corner is not doing well at all. They should have found a way for him to devise a new tactic to this fight. They keep jumping in and of course they're getting hit at random. I should say at will uh, for Lou. Lou totally in control. Of he just saw what happened now. That shows lack of concentration. I start had a towel on his shoulder. He didn't even know. He just came out to fight. His corner had to call him back. That the shoulder, the, the towel is on your shoulder. And look at that show of uh, domination from Lou coming to the center of the ring, staying there. I think if I start loses this fight, it's gonna kind of lost it for him. Whenever a boxer is lost in the ring, it is the job of the corner to find out a way for him. You know, I, I think it's a boxer that can trade, but he's not been able to do that tonight. Olohu has dominated him so far. And he keeps going to that corner and getting cornered. Look at the way Olohu is setting him up with the right hand just puts the right hand there in his face and he's chasing him everywhere in the ring look at that again wow and he doesn't seem to have a solution for this this punch there and a good clean break i love that we want to see more of that those jabs coming in for Olohu once again he should go on the inside but he's not taking it anytime anytime Oh, that's a big left. Another big left coming from Olohu. Olohu can finish it. And so in that red corner of Olohu, another two guard goes off. This time it's Olohu's. The referee calls both boxers. Pick up your two guard. It's going to be difficult to pick it up because of the glove. So it's the referee that should do that and uh, take him up to his corner. I will be back. Okay? Yeah. He's giving them his last warning for the look of things. He's telling them anytime I tell you. And you know what? See the way I start is trudging back to the neutral corner. It's like I start needed that breather more than anything else. You know when a boxer is telling the referee there's a two gap on the on the on the canvas. Here we go. They continue. It's about they can trade in the middle of the ring. Last time they fought in April, we saw lots of uh, trading from the two boxers. But this time, it's a low all the way. Oh, another.
another left right combination. That's a big one for Molo. Oh, wow, what's going on here? I stop. He needs to get out of this, man. He needs to come back into this. I think Olo doesn't want this fight to go the distance. Yeah, because a soccer punch can come at any time, but you still have to always be careful when you're fighting high stuff. I think that's what Olo is trying to be weary of. He's in perfect control of this round. Absolutely perfect control. All he needs to do is just keep keeping him at bay. Look at that, Ralph. He's not even offering any, re any resistance at all. He's knackered. I think there's a problem. I just noticed that something that looks like a problem, Ralph. I think uh, the right shoulder of Eistar could be hurting him. I saw a sign of him. You can see, can you see what I'm saying right now? There's some sort of, they're rubbing his shoulder a lot. That, and he keeps pointing to that left shoulder. Seventh round of Shadow 10. West National went away to a title defense of Olohu against the challenger Isaac Chubudi, otherwise known as I Star. Olohu, the champion. Oh, come on, uh, I Star. Get away from that corner. Lol from the two boxers. That's very rare. I think they're trying to conserve energy. They know there's still three more rounds to go, and anything can happen in those three rounds. Isaac should do something. Uh, because on our cards here, I'm seeing six rounds, five of those six rounds for me going to Lowu. Maybe the very first round could have been a draw. So Isaac has not um, answered the questions asked by the champion in this fight tonight. Absolutely. That's a good job coming from Isaac. A very rare good job. It's been a lot, it's been a while we saw that. And I think that he's done a better job in this seventh round that uh, Ralph. He's tried to stay in the middle of the ring and not allow himself to be you know, pushed back to the corner. That's because Olu has not pushed him, but that's a good left for Olu. with a jab the two guard comes up again looks like the two guard is quite bigger than his mouth can carry and, and this is the opteenth time that the two guard is going to come off the mouth of the very, ice the very third time for him Tries to go on the inside there, but Olo counters him immediately. Another jab connecting there for Olo. He has really stalled Ice Absolutely kept him at bay. one of the better rounds for I Star. Not that he's winning the bout, the round, but he's he's got hitting less in this one. 
That's the Olu has not put any pressure in this round. I think it's 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 good for him. Uh, just then, um, cool off, you know, a bit. It's not as if you're losing the round itself. Ralph, it, bring, it begs the question: Could this bout bring out the best boxer of the night? I, it's possible. Yeah, with what we have seen here, it's possible. That's a big left uh, from Olowu. Another left, Isaac Eister could not uh, just fight his way. That's a big left. But praises must go the way of Eister. He's done. He's taken all his punches here tonight. But still standing, still on rock, still going strong the way it is. Eighth round of Shadow Ten. National welterweight title at stake. Champion Olowu in white. A champion Olowu in black, I should say, uh, with white. And of course, the challenger Isaac Chukudi gets caught again with another right. good jab. He's looking for every single solution to this route, but he can't find it. Gonna be cornered in his own corner again. Watch a low go. But, uh, he comes out of it. That's the way to go. Now, you can't afford to stay in those. Two wow. big uh, swings. Good one from Isaac. Fighting better now. Lots of movement from him. He beats that uh, double shot from Olowu and gets a one. Olowu gets a one and put the referee again. I don't think there was any need for a warning in that. Both of them went for each other. Unfortunately, they caught themselves. That was just a very inadvertent uh, clash between the two of them. Nice start. Good job. I think he's going to get hit again, standing in the corner. It's pretty much like he's afraid to get hit, unlike the last time when he always called for the punches himself, talking about high star. I think, I think Olowu is just cruising. Isaac Chukudi is going to have to challenge for the title another time. This time, this champion will keep his title. That's if he can avoid a knockout. And he should stop it. He just got hit. Coming from Olu, who wants to finish this off now. Oh, and the bell saves everybody there, especially Aista.
ultimate round of the Shadow 10 National Welterweight Nigeria National Welterweight title. The champion of Lowu dealing with uh, the challenger Isaac Aistar Chukudi. Unless Aistar does anything in the next two rounds, as far as won and lost. He's gone to that corner one and he gets caught. He gets, he gets caught for the third time. He needs to get out of that corner, go into the middle of the ring. He can't stay there with it. a champion who's on a roll. He tries to set him up for the big punch. Look at that. Good body punches coming in for Lou. Oh, another fantastic jab. Okay, I think it's about time for that uh, take on the gloves to be retaped again. understand the problem in this but I know you have it. it's over I don't think I can get up from this the signs were there uh, he ain't gonna finish this fight it's all over it is all Five. over he is punch drunk six and why is the referee counting this he shouldn't be counting this nine I know I do not like that there was no need for it what is he counting what is he counting the man is punch drunk he's given up Straight to knock out it will be. The low to retain his national welterweight title. What a fight for him. What a fight for this man. Olowu is his name. Taiwo Olowu. He has dealt a devastating knockout against. Look at that. Comes one, two, is down and finish him up with a straight left. Nice big oh. high start. He sees stars. Absolutely. Now watch that left hook again. That left was an absolutely devastating. Look at, look at the stars there. Tormented him absolutely, and so to deal with him seriously, and the way he has done this is befitting. Uh, so tears of joy for me. Ralph, for me, I know you're going to say it's nowhere. These boxers are not nowhere near these other boxers. I'm about to say, but when you remember, Sugar Ray Leonard, that's his marvelous Marvin Hagler. You know how many times Marvin Hagler tormented Sugar Ray until Sugar Ray got one over him. And you saw the celebration that Sugar Ray brought into the ring. So in his uh, 11th fight, he's been able to do it. What he couldn't do in April. In April, it was a split decision victory for him. But this time around, it was a domineering performance for a knockout against this man. Well, let's get the official decision. Let's go into the ring. of the night round winner and still national welterweight champion of Nigeria Taiwo 